एन सी आर टी सिलेबस फॉर क्लास वन इंग्लिश चैप्टर वन अप्पी चाइल्ड इंजॉय दिस पोम My house is red a little house a happy child am I I laugh and play the whole day long I hardly ever cry I have a tree a green green tree to shade me from the sun and under it I often sit where all my play is done Let us know the summary of this poem. This is the poem of a child who lives near a little red colored house. The child always remains happy. She laughs and play for the whole day. She never cries. There is a green tree near the child's house which saves the child from the heat of the sun and the child sits under this green tree after she finishes her play let us know basic word and their meanings from the poem happy glad play do something for getting happiness hardly rarely laugh smile with a loud sound straight to protect from the heat and light of the sun sun the star that shines during the day time under below done finished now let's do some exercise new words cry to shed tears because of sadness example sentences Number 1 Pavan and Tarun cry when they are hungry. Number 2 I hope she did not cry in the school. Day The time between sunrise and sunset. Example sentences. Number 1 I begin my day with a smile on my face. Number 2 Lisa spent her day sleeping on the couch. Red Red color of blood. Cherries and tomatoes. Example sentences. Number 1 Red is my favorite color. Number 2 She looks pretty in that red dress. sun a star that gives heat and light example sentences number 1 i can hardly wait for the sun to set number 2 the sun is shining brightly read and match the words with the pictures draw a line i am a boy boy i am a girl girl question 2 fill in the box with the right color what is the color of the happy child's house red what is the color of your house blue the answer to this question may vary from student to student what is the color of the tree green what is the color of the sun yellow Question 3 There are many kinds of houses circle the ones you have seen hut igloo flat bungalow
cut flat bungalow question 4 draw and say how do you feel when you get a new dress happy when you get hurt sad when you share your things happy when you are ill sad question 5 draw lines from the house to the people who live in your home my home my grandfather my grandmother my father my mother my sister my brother for ncert syllabus for class 1 english chapter 2 three little pigs listen and enjoy this story once there were three little pigs sonu monu and gonu sonu lived in a house of straw monu lived in a house of sticks and one day a big bad wolf came to sonu's house he said i will huff and puff and i will blow your house down so he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down Sonu ran to Monu's house. The wolf came to Monu's house. He said, "I will huff and puff and I will blow your house down." So he huffed and he puffed and he blew Monu's house down. Sonu and Monu ran to Gonu's house. The wolf came to Gonu's house. He said, "I will huff and puff, and I will blow your house down." So he huffed and he puffed, but he could not blow the brick house down. It was very strong. The wolf went away, and Sonu, Monu, and Gonu lived. happily together in the red brick house let us know the summary of the story the story is about three little pigs named sonu monu and gonu sonu lived in a house made of straw monu lived in a house made of sticks on the other hand gonu lived in a house made of bricks One day a big cruel wolf came and blew off the house of Sonu and Monu. Sonu and Monu ran to Gonu's house. Suddenly the wolf came there and blew off the house of Gonu as well. But wolf would not blow Gonu's house because It was strong and made of bricks. The wolf went away, and after that, all the three happily lived together in the red brick house. No basic word and their meanings from the story. And used to talk about two or more things. Example sentences. Number one. I will play with Radha and Karan. Number 2. I like to drink milk and juice. Bad. Not good. Example sentences. Number 1. It is bad to talk in the class. Number 2. Try to keep away from bad habits. 
big very large or huge in size example sentences number 1 my house is very big in size number 2 i want a big toy on my birthday but used to join two different thoughts example sentences number 1 i slept but nobody helped me number 2 his house was big but untidy now let's do some exercise question 1 how many pigs were there answer there were three little pigs question 2 what did the big wolf say to the pigs answer the big wolf used to say i will huff and puff and i will blow your house down to the pigs question 3 was the wolf good or bad answer according to me the wolf was bad he scared the pigs and blew away the houses of sonu and monu question 4 who is good who is bad answer the pig is good the wolf is bad there are farm animals water animals and jungle animals in this picture healthy animals reach their homes draw lines buffalo farm bear jungle horse farm hen farm dog farm crocodile water frog water cow farm monkey jungle giraffe jungle rhinoceros jungle ncrt syllabus for class 1 english chapter 3 after a bath enjoy this poem After my bath, I try, try, try to wipe myself till I'm dry, dry, dry. Hands to wipe and fingers and toes and two wet legs and shiny nose. Just think how much less time I would take if I were a dog and could shake, shake, shake. Let's know the summary of this poem. In this poem, the child is telling that what does he do after taking a bath? He tells he wipes himself till he becomes completely dried. He also wipes his hands, fingers, toes, legs and nose. He thinks that if he were a dog, he could just shake and would soon get dried. Let's know basic word and their meanings from this poem. Bath Washing and cleaning the body with water and soap. Try To make an effort Wipe To clean by rubbing with the towel Dry Without moisture 
hands an important body organ to hold something shining giving out light shake to cause to tremble with force now let's know new words dog an animal that barks and is often kept as a pet example sentences number 1 this is my pet dog rex number 2 that dog is very big in size how a word used to ask a question example sentences number 1 how are you today number 2 how many hours are there in a day met past tense of meet example sentences number 1 i met my friend yesterday number 2 he met the family doctor on monday try to do something with some effort example sentences number 1 i will try to finish my homework number 2 i try to play the piano every day 2 the number that comes after 1 and before 3 example sentences number 1 i have two legs number 2 there are two eggs in the bag exercise 1 do you like to have a bath say why yes I like to take a bath because it keeps me clean and healthy. Can you bathe yourself? Yes, I can take bath by myself. How do you dry yourself? I dry myself with a soft towel. Have you seen an animal drying itself? Yes, I have seen a dog drying itself. Exercise 2. Put a round what you do after a bath. Throw the wet towel on the floor. Hang the wet towel to dry. I hang the wet towel to dry exercise 3 do you wear these things draw lines from the picture to the word shirt socks cap trouser belt shoes yes i wear these things when i go somewhere match the following to make pairs needle thread bat ball socks shoes shirt shorts ball spoon ncrt syllabus for class 1 english chapter 4 the bubble the straw and the shoe Listen and enjoy the story.
once upon a time there lived a bubble a straw and a shoe one day they went into the forest they came to a river they did not know how to cross it the shoe said bubble let us float on you no shoe let straw stretch himself from one bank to the other then we can cross the river so the straw stretched himself from one bank to the other when the shoe jumped on the straw it broke the shoe fell into the water with a loud splash the bubble <laughs> shook and shook with laughter and burst with a big bang let's know the summary of the story the story is about three friends the bubble the straw and the shoe one day they were passing through a forest they came near to a river and they did not know how to cross it finally they decided to cross the river with the help of straw the straw stretched itself from one bank to the other shoe tried to cross the river first the shoe landed on the straw and broke it bubble shoe with laughter and burst in a big round let's know basic word and their meanings from the story bubble a round hollow shaped body formed with liquid straw a dry stalk shoe the footwear forest a large track of trees and wild beasts river a moving water body cross go through float to move on water or air stretch to make longer bank the side of the river near the land splash a unique sound of water new words bank the slope along which the river water runs example sentences number 1 we sat by the river bank after swimming number 2 he ran till the bank of the river every day bubble a small round body of gas example sentences number 1 john and myra love to play with water bubbles number 2 i love to blow bubbles with chewing gums burst to open suddenly example sentences number 1 he burst out laughing at the joke number 2 the crackers burst loudly cross to pass over something example sentences number 1 would you be able to cross the river by yourself number 2 we should always use zebra crossing to cross the road river a natural body of water example sentences number 1 ria saw a colorful fish swimming in the river number 2 we went for a family picnic in a farm 
near the river. Shoes Footwear Example Sentences Number 1 Rahul was playing football without shoes. Number 2 Kirti gave her shoes to a beggar. Splash The round of a liquid being scattered in a random manner. Example Sentences Number 1 He woke up in the middle of the night hearing the water splash. Number 2 The ball fell into the drum of paint with a splash. Question 1 Name the three friends. Where did they go one day? What did they want to do? Answer The names of the three friends are Bubble, Straw and Shoe. One day they went into the forest. They wanted to cross the river. Question 2. How do you make bubbles? What do you wear on your feet? How do you cross a river? Answer. I make bubbles from liquid soap and water solution. I wear shoes on my feet. I use a boat to cross a river. Question 3. Put these two words into the sentences. Jumped, shoe, stretched, burst. Number 1. The straw dashed himself from one bank to the other. Answer. The straw stretched himself from one bank to the other. Number 2. The shoe dash on the straw. Answer. The shoe jumped on the straw. 3. The bubble dash and dash with laughter and dash with a big bang. Answer. The bubble shook and shook with laughter and burst with a big bang. NCRT Slabus for Class 1 English Chapter 5 One Little Kitten Listen and enjoy this poem. One little kitten, two big cats, three baby butterflies, four big rats, Five fat fishes, six sad seals, seven silly seagulls, eight happy eels, nine Noah's lizards, ten brave bees, eleven smelly elephants, twelve fat fleas, thirteen alligators, fourteen whales, fifteen donkeys with fifteen tails. Let's know the summary of this poem. This poem teaches the name of various animals and numbers in a poetic manner. Let's know basic word and their meanings from this poem. Kitten A baby cat Butterfly A colorful insect Rat, a rodent. Fat, thick. Fish, a water animal. Sat, unhappy. Seal, a sea animal. Eels. Snake like fish. 
nervous, fearful. Lizard, a reptile. Brave, courageous. Smelly, having smell. Flea, an insect. Alligators, a large reptile that lives in ponds. Whale, a large fish. It's no new words. Cat, a small animal related to tigers and lions and that is often kept as a pet. Example Sentences Number 1. Cats always run after mice. Number 2. My cat loves to drink milk. Fat Having a lot of extra flesh on the body. Example Sentences Number 1. My uncle looks fat in a swimsuit. Number 2. Why do you keep calling him fat? Rat A small animal similar to a mouse. Example Sentences Number 1. There is a rat in the storeroom. Number 2. The little kitten was chasing a rat. Sad Feeling of unhappiness Example Sentences Number 1. My uncle's illness made me sad. Number 2. Rahul was sad because he lost his pencil. 10. A number that comes after 9 and before 11. Example Sentences Number 1. I have 10 notebooks. Number 2. 10 is my lucky number. Question 1. How many kinds of creatures are there in the poem? Answer. There are 15 kinds of creatures in the poem. Question 2. Are the seals happy? Answer. No, the seals are not happy. They are sad. Question 3. Where do the fish live? Answer. Fish lives in water. Question 4. What are the other things found in water? Answer. We can find pebbles, plants and other water animals in water. Question 5. Tell us about when you feel sad, happy, brave, nervous. Sad. I feel sad when I am not able to play with my friends. Happy. I feel happy when I get chocolates. Brave. I feel brave when I ride a horse. Nervous. I feel nervous during my exams. Question 6. Look and read. Say these words loud, then match them with the pictures by drawing lines. Back. Ten. Hen. Tap. Pen. For more fun learning videos, subscribe to Catrack Kids TV.